Today is a special day, out of the rains. And in Thailand, this is celebrated, celebrated as the day of Rohana. It's the day when the, the Buddha came down from the Dawadingsa heaven. The story goes that it was one year when he went up there for the rains retreat to preach the Abhidhamma to his mother, who had passed away soon after he was born and was now a deva up in the Dusita heaven. And they met in the Dawadingsa, and throughout the three months, the Buddha would preach the Bodhimukha, excuse me, preach the Abhidhamma. And at the very end, all the human beings down in the human realm who were upset because they hadn't had a chance to put food in the Buddha's bowl during those three months learned that he was coming down to the city of Sankasa. And so they all gathered there. And the story goes that this enormous stairway appeared out of the sky. And the Buddha came down the stairway with Indra on one side with an umbrella and a Brahman on the other side with an umbrella. And everybody was so excited, the chance to make merit with the Buddha, that there was a huge crowd, and a lot of people couldn't even get close to the Buddha. So they made these little sweets that we saw, like we saw here today, the sweets with the tails. They swung them around with the tails to throw them in the Buddha's bowl. It's, it's not a very pretty <laughs> sight to imagine. But that's where the tradition comes from. And so now, every year in Thailand, on the day, the morning when the rains retreat ends, if a monastery has a mountain, monks will go down the mountain. If it has a jetty, they'll go down the jetty to recreate that time. So that's the story. What this is, is of course, it's an opportunity for us to reflect on the fact that now that the rains retreat is over, what are we going to do with the rest of the year? This was a special time of making merit, of meditating, being generous, observing the precepts. And it's a good time to reflect on all the good that's come from the good that we've been doing for the past three months, and to ask ourselves how much of that we want to continue through the rest of the year. Because the rains retreat is a good opportunity to test practices that might have pushed you a little bit more than you would normally like to be pushed. But then you find that you've been pushed up to the next level. You're comfortable there. Keep on going. Don't make your goodness depend on the calendar. As I said last night, as John Fu would often say, we want to make our practice agaliko as timeless. Because we're trying to reach a quality of the mind that's timeless. And it's only if your practices are consistent. Can you get that stability of mind that's not affected by anything outside, or the sense of well-being that comes from just settling in? Even, that, even though it's just concentration, that's still quite a lot right there. But to get that kind of consistency, you have to be consistent in your practice. So whatever goodness you feel is something you've picked up from the rains retreat that you'd like to carry on, well, by all means, carry on. As a John Chai would say, make your practice into the shape of a circle. He quoted this from a John Mun. He said it's like a fence surrounding a house. If there's a big gap in the fence, then the thieves can come in and the rest of the fence doesn't have any meaning. But when there's no gap, okay, then the fence can really protect you. In the same way, when your practice is the same all the way around, in the rains retreat, outside of the rains retreat, when you're at the monastery, when you're not at the monastery, okay, that's when the practice really protects you. That's when it gives you something really solid.